Alright peeps, uh, this time I'm not going to do any game reviews because uh, my computer broke so I can't do any voice recording or anything like that. Uh, my Saturn broke and I've had a cold for the last week so I'm in a bit of a shitty ass mood. So I thought I'd show off my Mega CD collection. There's not much um, unfortunately because I sold a lot of it years ago. But uh, the first time I got a, a Mega CD was probably about 1993. Um, for Christmas, I remember going to some spoiled brat's house who got bored of it after six months and decided he didn't want it anymore. So uh, my mum and dad took me around to this place and they bought it for about £150, I think it was, which is quite a lot of money even back then. Um, I didn't have many games for it. I remember having Sonic CD and Final Fight and I think obviously the um, Soul Feast, Cobra Command and uh, the other game that comes with it, Ro uh, Road Avenger, I think it might have been. Oh no, Sega Classics Arcade thingy. But um, before I got it, I remember getting this. I don't know if you've ever seen this. You can look this up on YouTube. Uh, I think most of them have had the audio deleted off it because it's got uh, Joe Satriani's uh, Back to Shalabal, I think it is. So it's been the audio has been wiped off. But uh, if you ever had that back in the day, this was the perfect advert to get a Mega CD. If you saw this, you sold instantly, and it sold me. So uh, I got one, uh, I eventually sold it in the late 90s, because the Saturn had come out at that point. And um, then in the early 2000s, I bought this one here, and I think um, I bought a shitload of games. I remember getting a load of games for it. I had Dragon's Lair, I had um, Keo Flying Squadron, which was sealed. I had uh, Dracula Unleashed, I think it was called. Uh, fucking loads of games. And um, I ended up selling them all because I thought, oh, I don't want to collect games anymore. And uh, a lot of them didn't sell. All the ones that are dead expensive now obviously did sell. Um, but I still had a few left over. So later on, I started collecting for the system again. And uh, I didn't have that many games, so I'm going to show them to you now. So the first one is Sewer Shark, which um, I'll be quite honest, I haven't even played yet. Uh, this features on this video, which made me want to get the system, uh, but oddly enough I've still never played it. Uh, I know you, you're going through a tunnel and it's just a, you control the cursor and you shoot things, uh, creatures in the sewers, I think that's about it. So I don't, I'm not sure if it's that much of a good game, but there it is. Uh, Pugsy, which you can get on the Mega Drive really cheap. Uh, I loved it. It was a, a nice little puzzle game where you get items and chuck them at things and oh God knows what else. I can't remember, it's been such a long time. But um, it was so good that I bought a sealed copy of it, which also has a crack in it. So there we go. Uh, last of the big box ones is Chuck Rock CD. Now this uh, I had to get because the soundtrack is really good on it. Uh, I don't think the graphics changed much on it or at all. But um, Chuck Rock's a brilliant game. Uh, I've done a Mega Drive review on it before, I think, uh, and I think it's well, it's in my top ten all-time Mega Drive games. Um, I just think it's so simple but just brilliant, just a brilliant game. Uh, these are all in alphabetical order because I'm fucking sad. And the first one is The Amazing Spider-Man. Again, I've done a Mega Drive review on this game. And I sort of tied it in with this to, you know, say this one's actually better to own because it was more of a, an open world map system that you could uh, run around in. Graphics, I think, were slightly better. A, a big CD soundtrack. Unfortunately, the, if you've ever heard the title screen music, it's defines 90s shitty music. Awful soundtrack on the, the opening. Uh, Batman Returns. Uh, another game I haven't really played that much. Uh, this was on that uh, VHS tape as well and they just made it look incredible but I don't think it's that much of a good game. I can't, I've, again I haven't played this one for years. Uh, I think everyone raves on about the, the fact you can drive the Batmobile uh, in some stages which was more appealing than the actual game itself so what I need to play again that uh, just to 
do a little review on, I suppose. Uh, brutal Cause of Fury. Again, I haven't played it. I've not got a fucking clue what it's like. I have played it on the Mega Drive, I think I did years. Well, when it came out, was it 94 or 95 or something like that? Um, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know if it's any good or not. It, it looks very cartoony and shit, to be honest. But I could be wrong. It could be really good. So I don't know. I'll have to look at that one day. Chuck Rock 2. Again, I've played this briefly, not on the Mega CD, so I don't know what the soundtrack 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 is like on this. Um, I, I briefly played it on the Mega Drive, and it looked all right, but I still prefer the first Chuck Rock. But pick this up cheap. Um, I think it was 20 quid at the time. Not so well, I say not so long ago. It's probably a few years ago now. But uh, it's got a few cracks in the case, but bargain. Uh, the one that everyone's played is Cobra Command, and on the other side you've got Soul Feast. Now, as a pack in title, everyone's like, oh, it's fucking shit. But you know what? This is probably my most played game when um, it came out. Cobra Command looked amazing. It was just like video footage again, like uh, Sewer Shark, where you'd fly around the, the city through buildings and you'd control the, the cursor where the gun fires. So you'd either fire your gun or fire missiles. Um, fun for a little bit, but it did get a bit boring and a bit too difficult because you had to be fast on your button presses and uh, QTE events. I mean, they just pissed me off. Uh, but Soul Feast, uh, really nice looking game. I think originally it was called Soul Dece on uh, the Mega Drive. Uh, would it be the Mega Drive or Genesis? Might have been just Japanese Mega Drive only, I'm not sure. Um, but that was basically a remake of it or remaster, whatever you want to call it. Excellent soundtrack, fucking brilliant soundtrack on this. Um, but if you do the cheat for Infinite Lives or 99 Lives, uh, well worth a playthrough. Absolutely fantastic side scrolling shooter. Echo the Dolphin, of course. Uh, looks no different than the Mega Drive. But it's a soundtrack that makes it for this one. Again, it's been um, remastered with real instruments. It sounds really good. And I did do a review on this one. Um, but everyone knows Echo the Dolphin. Everyone's played it. It's no different than the Mega Drive. Just the soundtrack's better. One that um, didn't sell on eBay many years ago. Stupid people. Uh, worth quite a bit of money now, Earthworm Jim, the uh, special edition. Uh, I put this up for 99p and nobody was interested, so unlucky. So I kept it and uh, it's in really nice condition. And I think this had a few extras in it, I can't, I don't know, you'd have to look that up. I've, it's been about 20 years since I played this, so I can't remember the differences from the Mega Drive. I think graphically it looks slightly better. Soundtrack's obviously going to be better, and I think they put, I don't know if it was an extra level in or something like that, I can't remember. But uh, Earthworm Jim, really good game, everyone knows that. <clears throat> One that is actually from my original collection from 1993 is Final Fight. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't dare get rid of this, even though I got rid of the console, I was never going to get rid of this, because I knew it would be so popular in the future and it's a great game I mean it's fucking solid it's just as bad as the arcade but the soundtrack again absolutely amazing uh, and I think I've done a review on this one as well uh, fucking brilliant game uh, it's that that love hate sort of thing it's I love the game but I hate how difficult it is but it, always go back to it always love playing that game brilliant <coughs> And for the shovelware stuff, in excess, make my video. Now, I think they did a few of these. I think there was CNC Music Factory. Um, oh God, who else was there? In excess, obviously. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were fucking awful. It was just basically, you'd have a selection of videos and you'd just pick the ones you wanted to line up 
and it would just play the ones you've selected to make your own video. Absolute pile of bollocks. But um, I picked it up for a few quid off eBay. No one bid on it, so I ended up with it. Well, there we go. Uh, Jaguar XJ220. Still haven't played it. Don't know why. I've owned this for God knows how many years. Uh, it's got no manual with it, but oddly enough, I've still got the spine card. Uh, I have no idea. I don't know if it's any good. It looks kind of like Outrun on the back. But I might try it one day. Been saying that for the last 20 years, 30 years. Jurassic Park. Now, this I thought was going to be basically like the Mega Drive version, um, but better graphics and better music. But it's not, I think. From what I remember, again, it's been years since I played it. I think it's uh, like a point and click kind of thing. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, on the back, it looks kind of point and clicky. Uh, but I do remember playing it when I when I bought this um, quite some years back, and I couldn't get out of the fucking visitors center, so I switched the thing off. I couldn't be arsed with it. But that's just me. Having no patience with it, so maybe it's good. I don't know. I'll have to look at that again one day. Uh, Mickey Mania, uh, another game I bought. Was this '94 or something like that? Um, fucking love this game because I had it on the Mega Drive, and then I saw this and I thought it was going to be loads better, and it is. Um, the graphics are better. The the music's spot on. Um, but fuck me, it's hollow. It's it's such a such a solid game. It's I mean I don't know what it is with Disney. I mean they like to start you off nice and easy and then just shag you on the second level, just completely fuck you over. Um, I got quite far in it, but I just died at the same place every time. And it's mainly because of fucking skeletons dropping down from the ceiling and landing on you. And then when you you hit them with your marbles, they fucking pop open everywhere and smack you on the head with the bones. And you don't have that many fucking hit points anyway, so piss me off. But good game. Uh, I think I've got it on the Mega Drive, and I think they did Mickey's Wild Adventure on the PS1, which I've also got somewhere here. Recently, uh, well, I say recently, it's been fucking years now, I think. Uh, Limited Run Games did it. Night Trap. Uh, while I was really looking forward to get simply because of the was there a problem with their parents saying this shouldn't be allowed or something and it started off the age rating on games it might be Mortal Kombat I'm sure Night Trap was involved in it though um, fucking cheesy as shit it's just you're trying to trap it's something like vampires that go around the house and you've got cameras looking at everything and you can switch between different rooms and try and trap them somehow. Um, I thought it was a load of bollocks at the time. I haven't played it really properly since. So I think it's just got a cool following. I think it is a load of shit, but people love it for that reason. Power Monger. I don't know. Um, I think I bought this cheap, very cheap. And uh, I think it's a strategy game. I don't know. It looks very strategic. And for that reason, I'm saying it's a load of bollocks because I hate them games. So I don't know why I've got that. There it is. Prince Persia. Now, uh, when I was in school, so you're talking again early 90s, we had this on the computers in the uh, computer room at the time. And someone was copying games and they gave me a copy of Prince of Persia for the PC and I thought it was fucking amazing so when it came out on the Mega CD it's exactly the same uh, from what I remember it was brilliant I mean I haven't played it since the 90s so I have been looking at this and the, I've got it on the Mega Drive as well so I was going to do a, a review on the Mega Drive version but completely forgot about it so hopefully it's uh, as good as I remember it 
Uh, a packing title for the Mega CD2 was Road Avenger. Um, again, this is very much like uh, Cobra Command and Sewer Shark, where you, you uh, it's a QTE game. So you've got to quickly press the buttons as soon as they come on screen. And uh, you are in a car chasing all these fucking bad guys that have uh, killed your missus. And uh, you've just basically got to wrap them all off the road by hitting the right commands at the right time. Uh, and again, at the time, I thought it was an amazing game. And I played it, well, it couldn't, it couldn't have been too far uh, down the line because uh, I did a, a review on it. And I did a, the full video at the end. Um, good game to play for 20 minutes or so. Sega Classics Arcade Collection Limited Edition. Well, it's not fucking limited edition. Uh, this is probably one of the things I mentioned on my uh, episode of limited edition items. It's not limited edition at all. There's fucking thousands of them out there. And they came with every Mega CD. So this was the second title that came with it. Uh, this looks different to the American version. I think they only got four games on there, so I'm not sure. But uh, this comes with Golden Axe, Super Monaco GP, Streets of Rage, Columned, Revenge of Shinobi. Again, I've done a review on this, and I also say why it's, why it's a pile of fucking shit. Because with this, you'd expect it's going to be better graphics, which it is slightly. They have sharpened it up. But they've fucking ruined some of the games. The, the sounds on them just sound awful. I mean, the original 16-bit sound effects just sound perfect. They fit the game. Um, but they've they fucking ruined it on this. Revenge of, Re Revenge of Shinobi sounds fucking awful. Streets of Rage, they fucking destroyed that. Super Monaco GP, not so bad. Um, and Golden Axe. I can't remember if that sounded shit. I know I mentioned it, so go and watch it. Sherlock Holmes, this is the, uh, I think this is the first one, isn't it? Yeah, Sherlock Holmes Volume 1. Um, I briefly played this. This is, I suppose it's like, where in the world is Carmen San Diego, maybe. I just got to solve a, a mystery. And, uh, yeah, that one's got the spine card too. Um, I don't think I played more than five minutes of it. So I probably thought it was shit at the time. Maybe I have to have a look at that again. I don't know. Um, this one I got off eBay quite a while ago, which was Monkey Island. Now, I think this was only released in North America because you'd have the big box version. And we didn't get it, I don't think. But they sold it to me with the most fucking awful printout Ever. I don't know if you can see it properly, it might not look so bad on camera, but it looks like it's got a, a green film across it, it looks fucking horrendous. And uh, the CD looks shit, it's just, thankfully it's not like a, a, a CDR type thing where it's blue, but no label, really. I was pissed off when I got it, in fact I've got the receipt here. See how much I've wasted on it. Fucking knobhead. Uh, oh no, it's just saying thanks again for the sale. Um, go fuck yourself. I think I paid between 20 and 30 quid for it anyway. Um, fucking waste of money. I could have made this myself and made it look a lot better than that. So nice one, asshole. Another game that. Uh, there's a, a bit of a knockoff, I suppose. Uh, Sonic Mega Mix. Uh, this is available on the website. Uh, I think it's still going, so if I remember what it is or find it, I'll put it in the description. This is um, just a, a Sonic the Hedgehog hack. I think it's got all all characters available on there. Uh, I haven't played it for years, but I remember it being all right. And they've done a good job of the CD. I mean, that's it doesn't even feel like a sticker. It feels like it's actually printed on there so that's pretty good and you do get an instruction manual as well which doesn't feel like top quality but it's better than nothing 
Um, that one's not bad. Uh, one that everyone's got, and that's Sonic CD. Now, I did a review on this not so long ago, and it's all right. I mean, back in the day, fucking mint, absolutely mint game. But it's fucking long-winded. This game, time travel, a bit of a load of bollocks, really, for a Sonic game. Just don't need it. You just want to run around and fucking destroy the bosses. Simple as. Uh, but yeah, it's still still a good game. Thunderhawk. Um, this is very much like Desert Strike, um, but you're inside the cockpit. Uh, there's, the area of the map isn't so big. Uh, if you go out of bounds, it will let you know, and you have to quickly turn around, otherwise it's game over. But again, just do a few missions. You've got your guns, your rockets, and missiles. Blow everything up, and on to the next level. That was, that was a really good game. It might even still be good now. I remember it being very blocky even back then, but still an excellent game. <clears throat> uh, one that a lot of people hate. I love this game, or loved it, and played it for many years. But the um, it's, it's, it's an anime style game. Again, it's a quick time event setup where you have to press up, down, left or right depending on where you need to be. So it'll play a bit of a movie clip and you press the directions and she'll avoid danger. Um, if you press the wrong button it'll go into a cutscene where she dies a horrific death. And that's probably the highlight of the game, it's just die as much as possible and see all the stupid videos of her dying. Um, so I, th I think it's it's worth a, worth a go. Even on emulator, if you get it on an emulator it's definitely worth half an hour of your time just for a laugh. And lastly is the Terminator, which is still sealed. Uh, I've played this on the Mega Drive. I've got it on the Mega Drive. I didn't really rate it that much. It's it seems pretty good, but I got to the end of the first level and didn't know I had to blow something up. So I ran back to the start of the level and then got killed a few times and once I realised what I needed to do, it, it sort of worked out for the rest of the stages, but um, it's not that great. I know the Meg CD version had improved graphics and, of course, improved soundtrack. So it's one I've yet to play on the Meg CD. I'm not going to open this one. I will be playing on an emulator. And uh, hopefully, it's actually a brilliant game. And that's it. That's my whole collection. Uh, I'm thinking about doing the Saturn next. Um, if you're still watching, I hope you liked all those games. Maybe I might do my Mass System games. I've probably got about as much as the Mega CD. So if you want to see that, let me know. I've got a lot of Mega Drive games so I probably won't do anything like that unless it's highly requested, but highly unlikely. Um, I've, got, I've got too many PS3 games, I've got 200 plus of them so I won't be doing anything like that. But I have got a few other systems like Japanese Mega Drive games and PSP, uh, PS1, PS2, Wii. Um, I might do a few more if uh, this one becomes popular enough. So hopefully, see you next time.